What's up Layerheads, it's Scallywag here and welcome to the lab with me. Today I want to talk about some pretty situational but very, in my opinion, important Leo tech where you can really optimise a punish from certain positions and it makes a big difference in these very niche situations when you find yourself in them. So, I'm going to start at the very start. If you already understand this stuff, just stick with me for one minute and I'll get to the juicy stuff, okay? So for people that don't know this, what you first need to understand is that for all characters in Tekken, you can access any move with an up, an up, back, or an up forward in them. So for Leo, I can do up forward free from crouch, I can do hop kick, I can do orbital, up forward free plus four, I can even do a crappy up back one situational parry, up forward two one, all of them, okay? And for Leo and for a lot of characters, this becomes relevant because uh, when blocking a minus 15 move specifically, Leo has to use her hop kick from crouch because this move is minus 15 and Leo is while standing to his 16 frames, meaning that she can't launch punish this move when Leo uses it against her. However, a hop kick from full crouch still comes out at the same speed, 15 frames, full launch punish at 15 frames for Leo, right? So this is just an example. What? I've thought about and what I found out is okay so Leo's up forward one can be accessed from crouch right up forward one has two extensions up forward one two and up forward one one they're both natural on hit um, they are both her choices for a 13 frame standing punish but because they have an up forward in them this means that you can access them from crouching and can be used as a 13 frame block punisher right if you're a knowledgeable Leo player you're going to be asking me right now okay why would I ever want to do this over while standing for one plus two right it's two frames faster and it's a 34 damage knockdown whereas up forward one two is a 29 damage knockdown and up forward one one does even less damage 25 damage and spin animation so why would I ever want to use 30 uh, sorry why would I ever want to use up forward 1-2 or up forward 1-1 one, one over while standing for 1 plus 2. And let me explain this to you. First let me just demonstrate to you that this works, right? This is Leo's back 1 plus 4 and if you block the low it's minus 13, okay? So you have three choices really for a punish here. You can do what you usually go for in the open while standing for 1 plus 2. You can punish it with the up forward one strings, as you can see here. Up forward one one, up forward one two. Or you can go for while standing one plus two. Basically in this game I don't see that much use for while standing one plus two in general, but it is up to right? So why would you ever want to use while standing four one plus two? Let's uh, show you now. Go to the wall. Okay, so from this position if you block a minus thirteen low you're typically, you know, you're not going to be able to get a launch, so you're typically going to go for your while standing for one plus two. 35 damage because you get the extra point of damage from hitting the wall, but no wall splat, no follow up combo, and the same thing while standing in one plus two doesn't wall splat either. So you've got no way to get a combo here unless you use up forward one plus two, right? Boom, 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 into your OP and your favourite setups with layer at the wall, right? Boom, bum, bum, right? Full punish, absolute guaranteed. You can even get some juicy stuff. Let's say you're at a slight angle and you're comfortable with side step combos, right? Um, you know, etc, etc. You can get 70 plus damage off of blocking a minus 13 move rather than 35. So you're doubling damage and putting yourself in a better situation if in these specific scenarios you use this punish rather than while standing for 1 plus 2. So it's really optimised in this situation. Now, minus 13 is a really important point of frame data in this game. There are a lot of notable and dangerous, very powerful low pokes in this game, just like Leo's back 1 plus 4 that are at minus 13. So I'm going to show you some of these now. Close to a wall, up forward 1 2 is actually a more optimal punish than a launch anyway. As you can see here, Leo can only get 50 damage and doesn't have any possibility of the sidestep combos. So from minus 13 and up, this is what you're going to want to go for. Here are some examples.
I know I'm just giving Miguel a bit of a beating here, but hear me out. Another time when you can use this technique is against characters who have really fast high counter hit or panic moves that they're going to try and throw out to escape Leo's wall pressure as anyone's going to want to do. Against these characters, if you do on a read or for whatever reason, duck their high. Once again, up forward 1-2 is going to be a more optimal punish next to the wall than even a launch. Once again, here are some examples. Unfortunately, there is one caveat to the using this punish against lows specifically, and that is that against the few lows that are minus 13 or a little bit more that recover in crouching, you, where the first hit of where the up forward one itself is a high, I'll say, you're going to whiff against lows that recover in crouch even after blocking. Okay. So what this means is that unfortunately this technique can't be used to get a big punish against Dragonov at the wall when he uses down 2, which is what you'd obviously really like. That's kind of the uh, minus 13 low in the game that you really want to get a hard punish on and this isn't going to help you with that, so I apologise for that. Uh, another example, and just so that I can show you this, is Leo's quarter circle forward one. As you can see, that's minus 13, but I can't punish it with this move because the first hit is a high, you see that? And if I actually tried this, I could get punished myself here. Um, so you have to keep that in mind, and like I said, it is a situational punish. But, there you go guys. I mean, a lot of the lows that I have shown you already in the video are minus 13, recover in standing, at the wall, you can double your damage, you can really improve the position you find yourself in because Leo doesn't have a while standing wall splatting tool apart from at further away ranges. Right, let's actually show that. Let's actually show that quick. So from here, obviously, while standing 4, 1 plus 2 does the job perfectly and is actually a lot better than, uh, than the other one, right? But from... But from here, in all situations, you have just optimized your damage so much. Even if you just go for the wolf black combo like this, you have just optimized this punish so much. You know, it's much more powerful to do this. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that, guys. I've enjoyed putting out another Leo specific video. I've been, you know, doing some labbing, looking into some more tech and stuff. So hopefully, I can do more of these soon. Thanks very much, guys. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be back soon with more.